Hi there, this is Dr. Pan, recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping that you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on finding trig values given the terminal, terminal, terminal side that passes a given point. Chinese say a picture worth thousand words. So let's get started with the pictures. Minus three and positive two. So we are in quadrant two here. Quadrant two here. Let's get the terminal arm drawn in. So here's my theta. Now in earlier clips on this channel, if you want to do Tucson math doc, you can look up on this channel and there's a whole bunch of question called the exact value. There's at least a dozen of it. You can look it up. If you type in the exact value, you'll see a whole bunch of worked through examples, particularly solving this type of problem. So what you want to solve on this type of problem is you want to find what the reference angle is. The reason you want to do this reference angle is it's a lot easier to find cosine or any trig value for a theta that's bigger than 90 degrees. Okay, so in my reference angle here, I shaded out here and I have a 2 here and I have a 3. Pythagorean theorem say this is radical 13 because it's 2 squared plus 9 or 3 squared which is equal 4 plus 9 or 13. Okay, so my longest side here is 13 here. Now from here we well, need to realize that sine theta is related to sine of r. It's either plus or minus. We don't know yet. We're going to have to decide. Cosine theta also related to the reference angle. So is tangent. So what you need to think of this type of problem is think of uh, this is r. Think of it as a two-step process. First, you're going to find out what the reference angle is, reference angle, and then you're going to decide what the sign for the reference angle is. Okay, this is this is what you want. So you need to have two parts. You need to find reference angle, the values for the reference angles. Then you're going to decide if it's plus or minus. Let's do the easy part first. I don't know about you, but easy part is always more appealing. So sine r is 2 over radical 3, or radical 13. And I'm going to rationalize it by multiplying radical 13 top and bottom. And then cosine r, similarly, is 3 radical 13 over 13. I rationalize that as well. And then tangent r is really easy. It's 2 over 3. Okay. Now once here, on a test, if you can write this chunk, I give my students almost 80% of the points because that shows to me you know what you have to do. Now, next thing we're going to do is find all the signs. We're going to find all the plus minus signs. Okay, so let's get started. Sine theta in quadrant two is a positive number because it's decided by the y value. Okay, uh, one way you can remember this is think of um, this silly thing I made up. Y sine, a paper which is saying sine value is found by, found by the Y coordinate. Coordinates. Okay, so. I hope you can read the writing. It's pretty small. If you need to pause it, pause it. So here it says, this little quotation mark is hard. Remember, sine value is always determined by the y coordinate. So in this quadrant two, it's a positive. Okay, so it's a positive sine of reference angle. So I have sine theta, then therefore equal to plus two radical thirteen over thirteen. Okay, so that's one answer. Let's move on to the next one. Cosine theta is going to be related to cosine reference angle, and it's going to be negative because in co cosine, in quadrant two, cosine is determined by x values. 
Okay, so in quadrant two, it's negative. That's why I have a negative sign here. So therefore, cosine theta is minus 3 radical 13 over 13. Okay, that's one more answer. And now I have one more to go, and then we're almost there. Tangent theta is related to, oh boy, I made a mess here. Let's see if I can rescue it. It's a tangent, not a very pretty one, tangent of r, and it's minus because tangent and cotangent is same. Actually, let's just do it's x over y. That's why in quadrant 3 and quadrant 1, tangent are positive. In quadrant 2, it's negative. So therefore, we have tangent theta is equal to minus 2 over 3. All right, so this is how we solve this type of problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I'd appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.